but you just try logging into your computer and this pops up the user profile service service failed to log in user profile cannot be loaded what that means is that your user profile has corrupted and the only thing you can do from here is click OK until it reboot now you can still recover your computer and you can fix your corrupted profile you need to go online to a website and google this I'll put the website link into the video description but it's called Offline NT Password and Registry Editor and I will demonstrate what you need to do in this next clip you get your CD burn because it'll be an ISO stick the CD into your computer, reboot it hit F12 and it should come up with your boot manager or boot menu if it's not like this it'll be black and white select CD and this would come up, it's called Windows NT okay hit enter and it's going to have all kinds of stuff coming up you just let it be like it is from here on until it stops okay there's going to be two sections there it's never the one with the boot normally it's the second partition so I'm going to hit one and it will ask what's the path to the legacy directory if you hit enter and it doesn't work Restart the computer and select the other one that's not the boot. So you hit the enter, okay. So you see it's not working for me. Now we're going to reboot the computer and I know it's the other selection. Okay, so now I'm going to hit number three. Then I'm going to hit enter. Normally, all this will pop up. You normally don't have to feed this like I just did. Um, you'll get to this menu here. But it'll say... There should be another menu above this. And it'll say... Uh, password editing or whatever. You'll just select the first one. Now when you get to this screen here, it'll say... Um, user edit menu and then you can go and select the name of the user and we're going to select administrator as you see the administrator is already typed I just held down the enter and you see here that it's got disabled or well, if you click 4 while you're on the administrator it'll unlock and enable the administrator. So we'll do that. We'll click for. Okay, so I need to type in the username of the account. And it is case sensitive.
I'm going to type in 4. Now you got the message that says unlocked. Now we're going to type in the exclamation point. You hold down your shift and your 1. And from here, this is the uh, first menu I was talking about. You'll click one, and then you'll type in administrator with capital A. I'll have it up here. And then you'll hit four. And it'll unlock it. It'll tell you it's unlocked. And then from here, click the Q. And then tell it right. Tell it yes. And this you can tell it no. And then from here, we're just going to reboot it. Hitting Control Alternate Delete. Once it reboots and pops up. now shows you the administrator account is there. Okay, so I can now log into the administrator account. And then from here, I'll show you what to do next. Once your desktop loads, you're going to go to the start menu. You're going to type in reg edit. R-E-G E-D-I-T And you're going to hit enter. Then this will pop up. It'll be in a much bigger screen. I minimize this so you'll be able to see everything that I'm telling you to type. I got instructions down here. I'll put this in the video description as well. At the top, you're going to click Find. And then you're going to copy, or you're going to type in what this says here. H key underscore local underscore machine front slash software front slash Microsoft front slash Windows NT front slash current version front slash profile list and when you do that it will bring you to this screen here and you'll notice there's two files here key registries one got a dot BAK and one doesn't and what we're going to do is the one that doesn't have the .bak, we're going to rename it. I'm going to rename it with that file extension already there. I'm going to put .ba, and then the one with the .bak, we're going to remove the .bak. Then we'll go back up to the one that's at the ba. And we'll put the K at the end of it. Now click back down on your registry key, the one you just edited. And there's two spots right here. One that says Rev Count. You want to click on it, right click on it until it modify. You want to make sure that that says zero for the dent value. Same way with the state. You want to make sure that says zero. Tell it OK. Then when you're done, simply close it. And then we're going to restart the computer. I restarted your computer. You'll notice that the administrator account still shows up. Now you probably want to disable that. What you need to do is go to your start menu. And down there at the start, they have the search programs and files at the very bottom, as you can see in this video. And you're going to type in CMD. 
cat monkey dog and the file will be at the top you're going to right click on it and tell it run as administrator and from here it's fairly simple you type in this net space user space administrator space front slash active and then tell it no so what you're going to see is this let me focus it doesn't want to focus okay net front net space user administrator front slash active the semicolon I believe and tell it no I will have this in the video description as well and you'll be able to see this you type in enter and it will say the command completed successfully then you exit out of that and then it's just simply telling it to log off And when it shows the login thing, the administrator account is no longer over here. Well, that's how you fix your computer and your user profile that got corrupted. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Leave me comment the questions. Leave them down below. I'll see you next time.